Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and uh, yeah, let's snap to the game and I'm at the top of the world and I'm on a massive concrete tower. I think it's time to just jump off this. Jester, are you recording this from down there? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's just go for it. Um, oh my days. That was... Now I've got to mine all that, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to time lapse mining that. Let's do this thing. was fun. That took me about 10 minutes to mine all of that uh, 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 yeah, concrete. It wasn't fun and uh, that was actually a little while ago since I did that. Since I did that, things have changed. You can already tell one of those things. We've added a lot of new paths around and uh, let me just go to a shop. There's a, n there's a new shop in town and one of them is Hex Shop, which is a farm shop, but it's not just Hex Shop. It's me and Hex Shop. So underneath it, we've been doing some work and we've built a lot. I've built two farms under there, which I'll show you when I get over there. So yeah, if we run over to the shop, underneath it, I've been doing a lot of work. I've made a pumpkin and a melon farm under there because we sell pumpkins and melons. So all of the other SMP small members come to our shop we'll be selling pumpkin pie and melons but yeah we've got our heads on the outside and if we go down here and whoop if you if this is this is our stock of melons we're basically full and then i think it's just uh done some pla it's, i think it's just nearly finished doing some here and then yeah this is i think it's ill mango's design so i'll put a link to the video in the description but yeah this is our pumpkins and I spread them out like that just so that I know just so it only fills up with that but yeah this is that but now what we've got to do is we need to go over to where our villagers are because we're going to be setting up the villager trading hall so in the villager trading hall it's actually going to be a bit of a pain to set up but I'm not going to be doing a full size one because I really like don't have the stuff for a full size villager trading hall but I'm going to be making a scuffed mini one. So what we need to do is we need to get some rails from in the house. And we also need a minecart. But I already have both of those things. So there's the rails. And where's the minecart? Where's the minecart? Uh, minecart? Minecart. Uh, this chest? There it is. Okay. Is the so uh, where how long have we got daytime? Okay, we've got quite a while. But what we need to do oh, I also need a lectern. Probably should grab that. I know I have one in here. 
Uh, oh yeah, I also have a totem of undying. We had a raid. Sadly, uh, none of us were recording, so I can't show you any of that. But in the process, we did actually lose the main farming villager, which is the most important one in the breeder. And I think, if I remember right, to grab the villagers out, I just do this. And then we should be able to slide it in, and there we go, we've got a villager. So if we place this down, take the roll. You're going to take it? Okay, we'll, we'll try and move him a little bit closer to where we're going to build. But for now, let's just grab some concrete, and we'll just put a little border on it for now. And we'll come back to finish it off in a minute. Because I just need some way of like, putting down and knowing where the border is. At the moment, I've got these massive big pillars up. But when we get on to building the full thing, I will do a time lapse of it. And yeah, but for now, what I want to do is I just want to put like a little station. I think he has to have a bed actually to be able to get a, to be able to take a job. So I may need to go make a bed for him. Uh, nearly the okay. We've just got to get back around to the top. And I didn't grab enough concrete at all. Did I? Nope. I only grabbed one stack. So yeah, we have had a few villager deaths, and I think we are starting to have entity cramming in the. Uh, uh, box which really isn't good and by the looks of things I may actually need to get a l bit more concrete it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough for even making the floor so uh, yeah I think I'm going to have to make some more concrete but let's move this guy down here and over towards where he's going to be staying and hopefully when I've moved him he'll then take a job the issue is, is now that f uh, village there, that wasn't activating raids, but now that we've got this villager farm, it means we're now actually getting raids, which isn't a good thing because we do keep having random pillagers spawning and I don't know where you have come from. And I also don't want to, so please move. Otherwise, you are going to be trapped in here when I really don't want. Yeah, so by a... This is what I mean. I'm just going to do a, like... I can't kill you because then I'll get bad trades. So either move or get trapped in there. Okay, so what we need to do with this guy is... I'm going to have to grab some of these rails back. Because I want to try and make this guy a mending villager. Because they're probably the most important villager we need. Don't go off the track, no. So go into there. In. Let me break the rails. I need to put a roof on this thing, actually. There we go. I don't know whether they need beds. I don't think they do. If they do... Oh! <gasps> what? How did he die from that? He must have been on low health to have died from that. Uh, let's move another villager. And try again. We didn't even get a villager that time. Come on, give me a villager. And give me a villager. There we go. Why has he took a fish? Oh, there's this crate over here. Because of this crate, he's not taking the right roll. This is... I will re... I'll put that back in a minute. But that should fix that, I think. I don't think there should be any barrels. Any? I don't think there's any other barrels nearby. Okay, I think I'll have to just set you free. Because you're... Or actually, no, we'll, we'll we'll just put you in here. We'll, we'll take you as our first villager. Go in. In you go. In you go. There we go. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen to this guy, where he just, for some reason, dies immediately. No. Please, villager. 
This isn't funny. The amount of pain I had setting you lot up into your breeder was enough pain for me. So we go like this and we just grab another rail and we grab the minecart we push we 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 get the minecart we we get him in the minecart and then we so I really didn't want a village a fisherman because I don't really have much use for a fishing fisherman villager but I guess I was going to try get all of them anyway so the difference it makes in the end isn't much. I don't know why they keep taking damage when I remove them from the thing. But now 20 string. So we'll lock that in once we've sleep slept. But I'm going to try and move some more villagers and get them in place, I think, and then I'll be back. So guys, I've moved the villagers. I've only moved one more in the end, but it is a librarian, so it's actually pretty good. And let me just show you this enchantment. Yeah, that's right. I've got a mending villager, and I have had to put mending onto my uh, pickaxe, but these two here, I don't know why these two villagers are here. I think the farm is starting to glitch out and a lot more villagers are being created by accident. I mean that for some reason they are taking roles they shouldn't have. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab probably we're going to grab two stacks of the concrete and what we're just going to do is we're just going to start building up a little bit of a wall so that none of the villagers that don't want a that I don't need here can get in because I really don't want any other villagers except the ones that I'm actually working with, which is the ones who are in the boxes. The one, the other librarian that has appeared is actually, a, it's a good villager. It's got a nice trade, I like the trade, but I can't actually put it into a box because if I do, it won't actually, um, like, it won't be able to restock because it's for some reason it's gone to it's working on the same workbench as another villager already is so if i actually put it in it would mean that i would be able to use him for a little bit and then he would run out but what we're going to do is we're going to actually trade with our mending one and we're going to get another mending book just so that we have another spare mending book and i'm definitely going to need to make some more concrete for next episode so we can work on this but what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make a bit of a wall. I know this really doesn't look very good at the moment and it probably won't. It's probably just going to be a massive big box where I store villagers. But I'd rather have that than no place to store the villagers. But what we need to do is we need to go back to the base. And we need to actually uh, get ourselves some more emeralds. And uh, I've had to break loads of stuff inside my base because the villagers kept getting attracted to them because it, they're a job station so I've had to break loads so I think we need six more on top of that and have I got a book anywhere books what's on that that's an impaling so that's only we've not got the right thing for that maybe I'll have to make a book I think I've got leather yeah there's leather and we'll just grab free sugar cane one two three there we go and I sh the shop that I showed you at the start of the episode, the farm one, that is now open. It's not been open for long, so we ha we don't actually have any. Uh, we've not had any purchases yet, but it all of what we make from that shop in the first week, we're actually going to give to. We're going to raffle off to other people on the server. And yes, I do now have golden carrots to eat. And let's see. No, I don't want your trade. Your trade's rubbish. Yours, however, I do want. We want another mending book. There we go. So we've got another mending book. And I'm going to save that. And we're going to try to get enough so we can do it on all our tools. And I think I have actually messed my pickaxe up. Because I've done mending before unbreaking. And before any other good enchants. So I think I'm going to need to get a new uh, pickaxe. But let's just go see if the farmer has restocked his trades. And we'll just get ourselves some more emeralds. If he has... Where are I? Stay still. 
Yes. And 12 more emeralds, that's good enough for me. And then we'll go back down here. And then what we're going to work on is, I'm going to make this so it has. So this unbreaking guy, I'm going to get a new station. And I'm going to get an unbreaking free, which I'll actually keep and we'll use. But for now, guys, I've just got one more thing to show you. And then we'll finish up for today. And so we have got some more people on the server, obviously. And I've set up another troll. And uh, it's a bit of a silly one. So this pressure plate here, if we uh, walk over it, yeah, I've put heads in it, so whenever this gets walked over, as long as they don't have armour on, they will get a head put on them. And yeah, I, I obviously... So I'll just put... And I know this person doesn't have armour yet, so that's how that's going to work. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode and are still enjoying this series. If you are, remember to hit the like button and also subscribe so you see them all, all the episodes as soon as they come out. But, let me... Villager, you've locked me out of my house. No. I, I'm going to get rid of him in a minute. But, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!